Every October, some 28,000 eighth graders line up to take a free but very challenging test. I studied for months, like every single day since like January to like October. Only 5,000 of them will score high enough to get a seat in one of the city's specialized high schools. I took a test prep course, so I, I say I took about six or seven uh, practice tests. I don't think the test is really that difficult. It just, you need to be able to get used to answering 100 questions in a certain amount of time. While other high schools may ask about your grades or your attendance, the only thing that counts for the exam schools is your score on the test. Some kids study for years to take the specialized high school admissions test. Study hard if you plan on taking the SHSAT or any, or any test. Don't just swing it. It's not worth risking. The Department of Education offers a free study guide available online, as well as summer exam preparation class at Stuyvesant High School in Manhattan. There are two specialized schools in the Bronx, two in Brooklyn, one in Queens, and one on Staten Island. There are two in Manhattan that require an exam, Stuyvesant and the High School of Math, Science, and Engineering at City College. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts is also a specialized school in Manhattan, but it requires an audition, not an exam. The oldest and biggest schools are Stuyvesant, Bronx Science, and Brooklyn Tech. I'm a really friend. I came to Brooklyn Tech because it's a very friendly environment. I love like, the class structure and everything. They have the most course offerings and the most activities in sports. But they also have large classes and you may not get a lot of personal attention. A pro for it being a specialized large high school would be that you're surrounded by so many gifted students and that really challenges you and motivates you to do your best as well. I think a con for being in such a large specialized high school is that you feel sometimes like you're just out of place or you don't know what to do because you get overwhelmed and I know that happened to me a lot. It's just so many brilliant minds, you have no way, how, no, you don't know how you're going to stand out from all these different people. Three of the smaller specialized high schools are on college campuses. At the High School of American Studies, kids study American history for three years and take college courses at Lehman College. You'd be surprised at such a small school, we have a whole bunch of courses, you know most, the majority of the people's faces, you should know all the teachers' faces. And even as a small school of sports, we're very competitive. Uh, we get to the highest topics in mathematics in high school. The High School of Math, Science and Engineering at City College is in Manhattan. So we're looking for a serious student who wants to explore uh, the different parts of our theme, math, science and engineering. It doesn't mean that they have to want to be a scientist or an engineer, but they learn very good skills in there, critical thinking, problem solving skills in those classes. And like the other campus schools, the Queens High School for the Sciences at York College give kids lots of personal attention and the chance to take courses on a college campus. Many of our high school students perform research at the college in the summertime as well as throughout the year. The students of, of our high school take classes at York in various courses, computer science, Out of the huts of history's shame, I rise. What wonder Up that from a past that's an rooted went in mad, pain. And poor Wilcox raved with fever. Students at Brooklyn Latin study the classics, including four years of Latin. Of a pleasure or the luxury of a regret. We want our students to be leaders in medicine, in law, in education, in politics, in business. By the time they graduate, they will know that they will excel in any field they choose to. You're almost destined to have a great future just by coming to the school and doing the work, paying attention, focusing, and being very disciplined. We are the, the newest specialized high school, a replication of Boston Latin School, which is the oldest high school in the United States. Uh, and uh, we offer a classical liberal arts education, and we offer uh, the International Baccalaureate program for all of our students in our upper levels. Staten Island Tech offers four years of Russian. If you get into one of these schools, you have to be prepared to work hard. When you're at, I guess, orientation for the school, they say an hour of homework each class. And at first you're like, no way, they, they got to be kidding. And the teacher's like, yes, we're very serious. You have to outline a whole, like, 20 pages of, like, U.S. history notes. That will take you at least an hour. Math, at least half an hour of homework, I'd say. Three hours of homework a day, if it's, like, a regular weekday. But lots of kids say it's worth it. If you want to go to a school where you're challenged and you're really motivated to do your best, where you'll also find your place, really fi find different opportunities and different um, uh, extracurriculars, then you should consider schools like Bronx, Bronx Science. 
This is Melanie O'Keefe for Inside Schools.